Hello everyone and welcome back to PhD and Productivity or welcome if you are new. My name is Kira and I am a first year computer science PhD student and I have made this channel for other people who are doing PhDs or different students or anyone who's in a sort of a knowledge based career and my videos are all about that kind of work and staying productive and things like that. So my university is currently closed due to the coronavirus. I'll be posting a new video every day this week. So if you would like to see more videos like this, all about being productive and things like that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when these new videos are uploaded. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a day in my life of working from home during the social distancing period. Good morning everyone. So it is about 7am and I am going to go through my morning routine now is my specific morning routine for when I'm working from home but it is just kind of an adaptation of what I do in my usual day even if I wasn't working from home but it's just a good time to be getting your morning routine together since it's possible that you'll be home for a number of weeks and a routine can really help you to get ready for work every day. The first thing that I do is open up all of the windows in my bedroom just to let in some fresh air and kind of just freshen up the room for the morning since I'll be working in there today and then as well once I've done that I don't make my bed straight away I just kind of leave it to breathe for a bit in the morning to freshen up a bit then I change into some warm clothing and I head downstairs to get a quick glass of water and then I head out on a walk for the morning. So during this time, I listen to an audiobook and it's sort of my self-development hour and I really enjoy that. So I'm listening to Essentialism at the moment and I can do book recommendations on my Instagram stories. So if you would like to see those, check out my Instagram at kirafuli95. And I'm lucky to be living near so many nice parks to get a good morning walk. Then once I get home, I go for a more active workout. So currently using Pop Sugar Fitness on YouTube because they have a ton of different types of videos, different kinds of cardio, resistance training. So today I just did a boxer size workout and that was really good to get the blood pumping in the morning as well as, you know, it definitely has a lot of strength in it, even though it only required one small weight, but you could have done this without any weight. So during this time, it's really important to still be active and make sure that you still get a workout in even though most of the gyms are closed and you can't really get out as much but you can definitely still get a good workout in so that's how I like to spend the morning and then I take a quick shower and change into some work clothes just something comfortable then I grab some breakfast and I tend to go for more of a balanced meal then I quickly dry my hair and then it's time to get to work which is this is the area I'm working in at the moment because of construction going on. So today is actually a public holiday in Ireland, so I'm not gonna be doing a ton of work, but I did also just have a week off. So I will be doing some work for my couple hours in the morning now. I'm going to be working on a few assignments. So for my academic writing class and my software development class, I have one assignment each to work on. So I'm going to spend about three hours working on that and usually during the morning I will spend three or four hours working on focused tasks such as you know working on a project for my PhD or doing some writing for a paper or something like that anything that requires a large amount of focus and during this time I won't use my phone I try not to use my phone or any social media up until lunchtime during the day because that way I can really focus on my work so I do only spend about three or four hours working specifically on my research and that's about as much as your brain can handle even if you are an expert in a field it's still not very possible for you to concentrate hugely on something for longer than that. It is possible to do not very focused work for several hours of the day but it's not really as effective as this kind of work. So if you want to hear more about what I'm talking about you should really check out my video on deep work and that explains sort of this process and how it works. I like to use the Pomodoro method for productivity which is to work for 25 minutes and then get a five minute rest. So you can see I'm on the tomatotimer.com 
that's a really handy website because it does 25 minutes timers, five minute timers and then longer breaks and it sends you a notification when it's time to stop or start working. So I'm working on this academic writing assignment to try and fix all of the errors that are in it so far and get that ready for the next submission which is in a couple of weeks but I would just like to get ahead of it so that I can focus on my actual project work for the next few weeks. And then it's time for a quick snack so again going for that balanced sort of meal and then some coffee as well and back to working on my other assignment which is for the software development class and that I will work on for another maybe hour, hour and a half. And it's time to head out for my second walk for the day and this time I don't listen to any audiobook or any music because this walk is more about letting my mind rest and usually during this time it will be the time that your brain is able to solve problems or think more deeply about something you've been working on. So getting out for that fresh air in the afternoon after working on some complicated tasks is very beneficial. If you'd like to see a video about why walks are so beneficial and why so many big names in science and literature have focused on walks throughout their routines, let me know and I will do a video all about that. But I'm so lucky to live near so many nice parks that I can get out for a walk every day, usually with my dog, but not today. Then I just have some lunch when I get home. So today I had some leftovers. So then after lunch, I head back to my room for an afternoon nap. So similar to a siesta like they would do in Spain. And that's something I've just started implementing this week. So I'm trying this out for a week and I'll let you guys know sort of how it impacts my day because I've been reading a lot about naps and the benefits of naps, especially for people who are involved in creative work or knowledge-based work. So it's meant to be very beneficial. So I will let you guys know how that goes. But it is just a short nap between 20 and 60 minutes and it's just supposed to like refresh you because after lunch you know is the sort of downtime of the day where you start to feel a bit tired and basically you should be napping within like between five and seven hours of waking up and then that will leave you recharged for the afternoon to be able to do some more work. You can just see that I'm using the Calm app to find an appropriate thing for my nap. So today I'm using the siesta, which is a 30 minute nap and it starts off with some guided relaxation and then just plays some relaxing music for about 20 minutes. And then you naturally wake up because they play some bird sounds at the end, which is very nice to wake up to. Well, I've just woken up from my nap and Basically, I just lay here for a couple minutes afterwards because I still felt like pretty tired when I woke up. Now I'm starting to feel more that it was quite replenishing and hopefully when I get up it will be awake and sort of ready to get back to work instead of wanting to sleep for the rest of the day. So then usually these afternoon couple of hours are usually focused on working on my transferable skills so that's sort of less focused work and it's more shallow work again if you don't know what i mean by shallow and deep work you should check out the video on deep work but as well if you don't know what i mean by transferable skills for a phd student i have a video all about that and i will have a video coming up in the next couple of days about how to plan and develop your PhD transferable skills progression. So if you'd like to see that video, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when it is up. So today I'm working on my um, entrepreneurship transferable skills. So I'm filling out an application for a entrepreneurship sort of program. And that's something that I hope to be working on during the summer, whether that will be remotely or in person, I'm not sure at this time, but I have been sort of suggested to apply for it and I really would like to do so so I've been working on the idea for an app and that's something that I'm going to submit for this program so that's what I'm going to be working on for the afternoon.
But once I finish the application, I then sit down to do some YouTube work. So yesterday I worked on filming, editing and uploading the video that was published yesterday. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. It's all about things to do during this isolation period. And the last thing that I like to do in the evening is to do some yoga or some relaxation or some stretching. So there's a few different ways you can do that. Yoga with Adrienne is a big channel on YouTube and she has a ton of free videos that are great for lots of different things. So at the moment she has a playlist called Home and it's all stuff that you can easily do at home, which is great for this time when a lot of people aren't able to get out and about and that we should all be staying home and still getting in as much exercise as we can. So yoga is a great way to finish the day for me because it really de-stresses and loosens me up, especially since I've been sitting for a good bit of the day, not too long, but still. The other option is blog Blogilates if you want a bit more activity. Hers is generally more about Pilates and has more sort of resistance training involved in it. So everyone, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below any videos you would like to see over the next couple of days because as I said, I'll be doing one video every day and that will be going on for this week and probably I'll just be uploading a lot more in general because of this time, lots of time at home and not, no longer needing to commute to and from university. So I have a good bit more time to work on YouTube so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see my future videos and I will see you in the next one.